So we're continuing to um, provide breathing exercises to TMD patients in hopes that it will take care of many of the symptoms that TMD patients experience, especially um, muscle pain, muscle inflammation, joint inflammation, joint pain. These are all related to not breathing correctly. And I'm going to attack the pain in every way I can. What's really interesting is everything seems to integrate. Uh, a lot of things are going on with TMD patients. And, and we can't forget that breathing is fundamental, that breathe, without a, a breath for six minutes, the brain dies. This is important. Uh, so we do an evaluation on all our patients and breathing is something that is fundamental. And we suggest that anyone with a bolt score of, you know, less than maybe 30 should do the exercises. And even people with better bolt scores probably should do the exercises to see if their bolt score will improve. Uh, there's nothing that can be harmed here. So again, this is the oxygen advantage warm up. This is warming up while walking for my TMD patients. The Atlanta TMD Institute was founded several years ago to educate dental and medical professionals in TMD. So we give courses and teach. People come into the office and learn, professionals, to develop knowledge of TMD disorders temporal mandibular disorders, because it's just all over the place right now, and it's scary. Uh, or facial pain became a specialty in 2020. I'm hoping things will be sorted out over the next five to 10 years, but I'm very fearful. Um, so I'm trying to get information out as much as possible about TMD patients. And we successfully treat TMD patients at the Atlanta TMD Institute. We really do. I can say that Honestly, truthfully, uh, I'm going to say literally 99% of all the patients that come in are much better when we're done. And finally, the Atlanta TMD Institute is a advanced treatment center. We take referrals from dentists, physicians, and other uh, TMD specialists. We've had quite a few uh, referrals from other TMD specialists, and we've identified problems that they didn't because the treatment approach that we use at the Atlanta TMD Institute is that anything in the body that can influence the patient's uh, health should be addressed and corrected. And, and, and the body as a whole, it integrates. So it is really important to do everything we can to help. And this is an um, example where we're using breathing for TMD patients. So again, the title of this particular um, uh, video is Oxygen Advantage. That comes from Patrick McEwen's book. And I encourage you to buy the book, encourage you to uh, download the audio from Audible. I encourage you to do these exercises. They don't cost anything. Why not do them? Why not attempt to improve your life wherever you possibly can? So the oxygen advantage warm up. This is preparing for your exercises, you're warming up and getting ready for TMD patients. And again, the subtitle is preparing to do your walking and breathing exercises, which will come later. And we'll get into this uh, in more detail with the more advanced uh, uh, exercises. So as you know, when you became a patient at the Atlanta TMD Institute, the first thing that I encouraged you to do was walk at least one hour a day, preferably all at once. It doesn't have to be a fast pace, just walking. You can split it up, but I prefer it all at once if possible. And so during this required walking, you can also do your oxygen advantage warm up. So again, begin walking. Don't carry anything. Uh, you know, if you, I, I have an iPod, so I listen to things every day, but you might not want to have the iPod so that you can concentrate on doing the breathing exercises. 
in the beginning of your, your therapy so that you can learn how to do these well. And then later, if you want to use the iPod, you can do the um, exercises once you know how to do them while, while, while using your iPod. I just like learning all the time and relaxing and looking at the green trees and the blue sky. I, I just, and taking in the air. It is a good thing. It relaxes me. So again, begin walking at a pace that's comfortable for you. Not too much, just walk. So God meant you to breathe through your nose, not your mouth. Many, many, if not most, TMD patients breathe through their mouth. And we're trying to change this evil, toxic breathing pattern that causes all kinds of problems. So during your warm up, try to breathe regularly and calmly through your nose. And I would say breathe regularly and calmly through your nose. Do nose breathing. And you're using your diaphragm, which is you know, the muscle at the bottom of your rib cage, to maintain a gentle and relaxed, automatic, relaxed breathing technique. It's just in and out. Don't try to lift your chest with your muscles. Don't try to breathe. Just let your body breathe. You've looked at it already with uh, exercise one, the first exercise, um, uh, breathe light to breathe right. You should have looked at this. That trained you to walk with letting your body breathe the way your body was designed without you getting involved in elevating your chest or doing anything abnormal. Just let your body go, let it do its thing. So if you did your breathe light to breathe right exercise and you learn to feel your stomach go in and out and your chest go up and down, you should remember that um, how this felt. So as you're walking, feel your abdomen gently moving outward as you inhale right? And gently moving inward as you exhale. So this is the same as what you did when you were sitting. And you should develop that skill and feeling while you were sitting. Now you're applying the same sensation and body awareness uh, while walking. We want your body to learn to relax with proper breathing. This is really important. It's going to calm down your body, make it more in tune with itself, make it more in tune with the environment uh, so that there's not weird things going off in your head all the time telling you you're about to die. So as you walk, allow a feeling of just relaxation to spread throughout your body as you're doing your breathing um, uh, exercises. We want you to just learn how to live with your body and try to separate you out from all the terrible things that happen in the world. And I feel this is absolutely true that, you know, if you look at the news and I have patients do this, they'll take a piece of paper, good and bad, on a piece of paper and watch the news and you'll see that 22 things are bad and one thing is good. They're trying to get you upset. The cell phone also gets you upset because you're so focused on the cell phone that you forget you have a body, you forget that you have a mind, you forget that you have relationships with other people. The cell phone becomes your fixation, your little devil that's controlling you. If I had my way, I'd throw them away. I would. You know, Steve Jobs would, would limited his kids very little to the iPad because he knew the danger of, of it. So I'm trying to get you to let your body go, to relax. And as you're walking, you know, during this particular warm up, allow a feeling of relaxation to spread throughout your body. And your body will associate that relaxation with this exercise in the future as you're doing it. So as you're doing the warm up, you're using, well, I guess guided imagery. I don't know, but you know, one way of getting to sleep at night is an exercise where you lay down and focus on different parts of your body and tell that part to relax and let it relax. 
you have you have domain and you have the ability to relax parts of your body if you so desire. So you think and silently encourage the area around your chest and the abdomen, these are your breathing areas, to relax. You want them just to relax and do their thing. And you'll find that any tension can be released by silently telling that area of the body to relax. You have that ability and you can practice it at home at, at night too, not just walking, but this is one thing that you can do to relax your body while you're walking during the warm up. So while you're doing this warm up, let your body relax, feel it relax, tell it to relax. Forget about thinking about anything. You know, look at the blue sky, the white clouds, the green trees and grass. Everything is wonderful. Look at the sunrise and feel your body relax. Let it relax and let it become soft. You know, so, so why are we doing this? Because body relaxation during physical exercise helps to ensure steady, calm, and regular breathing. And that's what we're trying to encourage in you to breathe better so that your body will take over in a natural way. You're training your body to slow down, to feel itself, and to... Um, be in a natural state and it's natural for you to be relaxed and physical exercise is something you should be doing every day a good bit of the time and it should be in a relaxed regular breathing state so you're walking along and you're relaxed and after a minute or so walking at a fairly good pace exhale normally through your nose remember you're using your nose at all times and then pinch your nose with your fingers to hold the breath. And this goes back to your original training, remember, when we did the bolt score. Uh, but again, if you're in a public place, you might prefer to hold the breath without holding your nose. Um, and that's up to you. Um, and you know what time you're doing it, but the people around you in the morning with nobody around, you hold your nose. If not, don't. But just be sure that you stop when you pinch your nose with your fingers to hold the breath, what you're doing is you are holding that breath at this time. All right, so, you know, you either pinch your nose together while you're walking to prevent yourself from breathing, or you're just not breathing under your own control. While you're walking, while you're holding your breath, walk for 10 to 30 paces. Or, even better perhaps, or until you feel a moderate need to breathe. In other words, when you have your first sign of air hunger. And air hunger is something you learned during the bolt test, and you should understand what it is. It's the first sign that your body wants to breathe. All right. And then once you've achieved that, once you've gone to the first uh, sense of uh, air hunger, you stop and you breathe. So if you've walked 10 to 30 paces, you start breathing again, or until you sense your first sense of air hunger. So when you feel this hunger for air, let your nose go and resume breathing through your nose normally. Everything should be normal. You shouldn't be gasping. It means that you held your breath too long. You're training your body to be normal not to be dramatically in trouble. <gasps> no breathing hard. Just let you know, train, be gentle, relax, let everything go. You should be able to resume breathing normally after you've done each one of these uh, drills or exercises while you're walking. So just, just keep on walking. You know, you're going to walk for 10 more minutes or so. This is part, the first part of your walk and enjoy yourself and you're repeating this breath holding exercise, uh, gentle, relaxing breath holding exercise as your, your warm up. So continue walking for 10 minutes or so, performing a breath hold every minute or so. And this is your warm up. And it's an important part, you know, start 
with this, learn to train your body. We are retraining your body to breathe. And it's just wonderful because you're exercising also, which helps you release endorphins, helps your circulation, gives you a better state of mind. Exercise is a prescription for depression. It is. You can look at a book called Spark that um, I've read about a psychiatrist that talks about exercise as a means to control depression, even though it's not generally published in medical journals, it is a way to feel better. And then of course, breathing, guess what? One of the side effects of not breathing well is depression. So here you are, you're walking, getting your circulation going, wonderful, and you're breathing better, giving your brain more oxygen so it's not what they call hypoxic, and it just feels better. It's happy brain. So thank you for listening to the audio and thank you for, for doing this exercise and, and do it every day. And I think you'll find that you're going to feel better uh, fairly soon, within a few weeks. So I did not create this material. This, this exercise was written uh, by Patrick McEwen. And Patrick wrote the book, The Oxygen Advantage, which I encourage you to purchase. You can also go on Audible and get an actual audio of the book so that you can listen to it when you're working out or listen to it when you're relaxing. And the book is not a hard read. You can go through it. You just want to study it and think about what Patrick is teaching but his materials came from Dr. Konstantin Butenko's research. So again, this material originates from Dr. Konstantin Butenko's research and from the Oxygen Advantage book written by Patrick McGuin, who learned directly from Dr. Butenko.